Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic, and here it is, my eighth Let's Play. As I guys told you guys, as I told you guys before with the one video a while back, I'm gonna be doing Mayonetta along with Tales of Asperia, so that way I don't feel like I don't know. I don't feel so freaking bored while doing Tales of Asperia. Tales of Asperia is a good game. I I really do. I think that, but I need to be doing some things on the side while I'm playing it. I just can't be playing that purely because then I'll just feel bored then it'll feel tedious I mean but anyway as you guys should already know the game I'll just let this little backstory thingy play in your wickedness you have broken the ancient commandments and crafted a bond with one of the light our laws are clear they demand you be eternally imprisoned as for the impure child she must be kept from the path of the dark arts forever. You know she's ready for that. And have you guys seen this before? Because I used it in the trailer. This is... Bayonetta. Bayonetta for the Xbox 360. And there is a PS3 version, but a lot of people consider that a lot worse than the 361, mainly because of lag, or it doesn't have the right frames per second. That, and it has loading times and all that. A lot more loading time, noticeable loading times than... Yeah, a lot more noticeable loading times than in the P than the 360 version. So all we can do right now is normal ver normal mode. Also, I did do some practice runs of this on this file, so I'm gonna be pointing out some achievements that you could get that I've already gotten. So just letting you guys know. And here's another little backstory thing. So I'll just be quiet now. Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. The once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Luma threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witches' state.
stricken death of Nadine Umbra. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All but one. The end. That's the whole game. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, and I got an achievement. <laughs> yeah, when you get an achievement, you get unburned tears of blood, which is basically the exact same as achievements, but you could also collect these throughout the game, too. If, like, you saw, you guys saw those big-ass punches and kicks that I was doing, right? Well, if you do enough of those consecutively, then you get an achievement for that. You'll learn more about those in the next chapter. Unfortunately, this is just the prologue, and yeah... I didn't think I'd get one. I don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to mention is that the achievements that I've gotten already, one has to do with what you learn later in this prologue, it's torture attacks. And the other one is when you actually finish the prologue. And another one too, I think I can't remember. I can't remember exactly though. I'll probably put it up. If you guys see some text right here, then yeah. Then there's an achievement that I forgot to mention. And holy crap, there's a cult. It's not the fun kind either. That one was just watching like, hey, hey, hey. It's fucking hilarious. And here we go, the prologue. The vestibule. May as well save right now. Got that little beginning thing out of the way. Five minutes! God damn it. Anyway, let's start the prologue. And get this game started. Check this out. Ah, I can move this. I don't see the point to this right now, but you guys will see it after this prologue. And yes, Platinum Games is like the same people that made Okami. The let's play that Chugga Conroy is doing right now. Kind of think of it, I, I feel like making this a video response to one of Chugga Conroy's uh, Okami episodes. I might do it. I don't know, that seems like a... Ah, fuck it. Yeah, I'll probably do it. <laughs> and there's a dude pissing on Hideki Kamiya's grave. What a douche. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. I'm the Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? <laughs> if it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> uh, yeah, awkward silence. Take the hint. Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? <laughs> ah, I hate this damn light. I can't see a thing. Oh, but they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my God! Exactly! God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. This game seems pretty kin friendly, right? Wrong! None kicking angel asses. You look tired. Let me tuck you in. I wouldn't mind that. Dude, you got you almost got your balls cut off or something. Crushed. Oh shit. Next time you want me hands on you. You better make sure I'm dead. <laughs> now move out the way. This guy's awesome. Go, go, go. Damn. Go, go. Rodan. That's right, Rodan. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo, how about you get out of here? Now this is one badass motherfucker. You die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money you owe. Better run, dude. Little angels deserve a good spanking. Oh yeah. Bam! Beautiful. My words exactly, Rodan. Kid friend. And here she is. Our character. The one we're gonna be playing as. Yay. Damn right. Look at that. Killing angels with motherfucking guns. And a sexy witch. Damn! 
they're both equally good. That angel's trying to get it up. Oh, no, you're not. Put gun to the face. <laughs> awesome. Damn. She blows those fuckers up. She can break those fuckers. Damn. She sure knows how to use them. And yeah. Give her the candy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> that was your last call. No more shots from me, Bayonetta. And thank you for that. Hell yeah! And here's where we start this chapter. The prologue, anyway. But first, some tutorial. Quick punch, you press Y, and you can just keep pressing it as such. Same goes for B, which you use for kicks. As such. And you can combo with these fuckers, of course. Look at that. And here's the dodging mechanic of this game. Evade any situation by pressing the right trigger. Danger. Oh my god! And this part's gonna keep attacking anyway. And no, you're not. You're not gonna hit me. And the dodging mechanic advanced. Which time? Dodge at the last possible instant. Like such. And with which time, any of these will appear to move in slow motion for a set period of time. Which you can kick their so asses so easily because they're more vulnerable in which time. So with that out of the way. Time to kick some ass. Literally, kick some ass. Hey, get back here. Get back here. You're not gonna hit me. You can dodge while hitting another enemy if another enemy is trying to kick your ass for Hannon. And when you kill an enemy, they drop halos, which you could use as currency in this game. And yes, they do look surprisingly like Sonic's golden rings. I think that was what they were going for because Sega helped produce this. Where's the other enemy? Oh, there they are. Get back here. Get the fuck back here. Hell. No, 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 no. And bam. Get the fuck back here. I'm gonna try getting. I'm gonna try not getting hit. And so far, I've been doing pretty good. Usually, I get hit no matter what the hell I do. But it does get easier to dodge enemies later once you bought some techniques and all that. And I'll get into that in the next chapter because you can't do much right now since it's just like a tutorial and all that. And with that. With these little enemies, they're teaching you how to shoot. You just hold Y or B, and you could just use your foot or hands to shoot. But when you're surrounded, you could use Bullet Climax. You just rotate the left stick and use Y or B. I prefer B because... Hey, hey, hey. She uses her legs. Then once you're in Bullet Climax, you could just keep pressing the button that you used, and you can keep shooting all the enemies around you. As such. Hey, get back here. Look at that. Oh, hell no, you're not getting me.
<laughs> Hell no. Oh yeah, and if you dodge you using witch time enough times, then you get an achievement. But you have to do it consecutively. Man, I'm just unlocking achievements like gangbusters. Get the fuck back here. Hell no. Fuck you guy. Well fuck you guy. Any new enemies? And no, we're just continuing onward. <laughs> yeah, they can. Redu Fucking Enzo, you suck! I gotta save your ass, but I'll destroy your car in the process. <laughs> That's what you get for getting captured by angels, you douche. Anyway. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this. Well, so far I haven't been hit. I think I'm gonna get hit in this part though. Anyway, there's a bigger version of these enemies that's Right here. It's the flying one right now, but right now I'm taking out the little ones. So that way I can focus on the big guy once I'm got these guys out of the way. Oh shit, that fucking big fucker. Get back here. Hey. Fuck you, man. I almost got my ass handed to me by some cheap shot in Big dude. Oh, there we go. Get the fuck down, you fucker. Punish, punish him. Punish his ass. Da, 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 da. Die, you fucker. Hopefully that comes out right in the thing. Oh, yeah, platinum. Platinum. Radon should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! <laughs> you keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Ah! Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about... Eggman! Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Figure out. Where'd he get that shovel? You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. She'll do it, man. What? Don't you She'll do it. You better do it, man. Anyway, what I was trying to say earlier after I finished off that last enemy is that hopefully the video and audio still come in sync because I've done a practice run and I tried commentating and all that crap, but for some reason the audio and video of the gameplay desynced. And it's all because of that one final blow that I dealed. Day. I'm screwed. <laughs> it's gonna take every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I can see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo, the road. <laughs> pay attention. That dude's gonna get us How killed. Can you be so calm. 
You're still getting screwed in all this, too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. Dude, what the hell? They dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. <laughs> I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Twenty years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All Fucking you hubcap. can remember is that you're a witch. But now, you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know, I thought I got screwed. But being forced to slap around the divine for a living? That's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our... She's already sexy enough, but they had glasses. <laughs> oh, come oh my god. Now. Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. <laughs> drilling. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. And the same stuff we saw in the beginning. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash. Just like a girl. What the fuck you say? <laughs> Jesus. Can't you take a joke? Why isn't he watching the road? Someone's given you a present. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. Crush. And we're being followed. And she sees from there. Oh, they got saw. They were noticed. But if that wasn't obvious enough. What the fuck? Isn't that the same plane we saw earlier? Like with the people from the cult? Now that I think about it, yeah, I think it is. That's why what happens right now is what happens. Oh shit. Ready to fuck some stuff up. Look at that. Oh shit. And who might this be? I think this is the same lady we saw before. And they're kicking some angel ass. She is. Whatever. And there we go. They meet. You? All that sleeping made you soft. And we're in witch time right now. <laughs> you would think you'd have to fight her, but no, you're not. What you have to do is fight the enemies around you and fill up your magic gauge or whatever the fuck you pronounce it at. She's gonna try getting in on your faction too, but you just gotta kick every one's ass before then. And what you gotta do is press the punch and kick button to execute torture attacks. Then you button mash. As such. And I suggest just using those kinds of attacks. Look at these. Fucking torture attacks. They're awesome. Once you guys execute your first one though, I think that's when you get an achievement. The hell, I wasn't trying to go into bullet climax. I'm trying to get oh, and if you get hit, you lose some of your magic, so uh you gotta avoid that. That's what they're trying to do in this part. Like, since the enemies are starting to go in normal motion now. You gotta try avoiding them while uh, still getting your magic filled up. Yeah, 
And there we go. Once you execute three, that's the end of this verse. And dead he be. Pure platinum. And yes, there is a ranking system like that. It goes from stone, stone, copper, silver, gold, platinum, and then pure platinum. <laughs> Look at that. Even while killing angels, they show off style. And holy crap, a truck. Damn, she sure can jump high, huh? Anyway, fuck her. Let's just get back in normal time. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Oh shit, she killed her in the past, somehow, and yet she's still alive. What does it mean? Eh, fuck it, I don't want to make sense of it. It's just a game. I love how they show her ass right there, that's awesome. You know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Me. Grand Chuck Norris. Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and Hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Holy crap, glowing eyes. The fuck? Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too bracing. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. Look at all those weapons. Rodan knows how to I fight in style. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. That's pretty Don't special. These, Cause they're one of a kind. And those are our weapons that we're gonna be starting out with. The Scarborough Fair. Or however the hell you pronounce them. And of course, this is Bayonetta. We're gonna put them on with style. Sexy style. Where's my drink? Oh, there it is. Calling me out. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. Pounding them down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. What are you, who are you talking to, dude? She's gone. <laughs> Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. That's fucked up. <sighs> you did beat, motherfucker. <laughs> God, I love the humor in this game. I don't know why. 
And once you beat the prologue, you get an achievement for it, I think. And I managed to get platinum on both of those. And I got platinum tr things, so I got a platinum award. I should have been a pole dancer. You should have been a pole dancer. I would have loved playing that game. Nah, I'm kidding, but eh. And with that, we've beaten the prologue, guys. But there's more coming up. A little mini game at the end of every chapter. Angel attack. And how do you play it? Well, you just gotta aim and fire an angel targets, blah, 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 blah. And for every arcade bullet that you find in the game, in the chapter, you get three bullets for this game. So you just gotta shoot with X, and I suggest going for the head, as such. Look at that. Hey! Die, you little fucker. I got one more shot. Ooh, yes, there we go. Mm, goddamn, I got a lot of them. Anyway, here are the items that you could get, but I'll get into more of those once we get into, uh, you know, the next chapter. But I'm just going to buy this, which revives you if you lose all your health. And I'll exchange the rest for halos. And here's where this game starts. Officially, anyway. There was the prologue, and here's chapter one. Which will be be getting into in the next part so next time on Bayonetta we're gonna be going through chapter one the angels metropolis so see you guys then